Hi guys, it's David Humble Trekker Channel. How are you doing today? I've got a problem with my Silver Expedition Compass. Let me show you what it is. The Silver Expedition S Compass is a high quality, high grade compass and it has a adjustable declination. I've actually done a whole video on how to adjust declination on this compass, which there'll be a card in the corner of the screen if you've not seen that, if you want to look at that. To go back over, you adjust the declination. There is a very small screw there in the, the bezel of the compass housing that you turn clockwise or anti-clockwise to adjust the declination east or west. And accompanying it on the lanyard of the compass is a tiny little screwdriver. And in the, the market, in the specifications, the brochure of this compass, this is said to be anti-magnetic. Not a ferrous material, not a magnetic material, not a magnetic metal that when you get it close to the compass it's going to deviate the... Uh, the needle one small little problem over time it has become magnetic let me show you I've been carefully I've removed all other extraneous materials that could affect the compass I've set the needle up in the the underscored arrow below so you can see it and hopefully it's nicely focused on the compass and I'll bring in the little supposedly non-magnetic screwdriver look at that huge deflection I'll take that away just to prove there's nothing I've not got magnetic fingers or anything just as a test to control try and do it with a stick no movement one more time it's like it starts to go gently and then you get it just in the right position it makes a huge deflection okay it's not moving as much now as it is done at first pass Maybe if I turn this around but still way more than it should do we shouldn't be deflecting it at all and that's going to make adjusting the declination with this little screwdriver impossible that was the best demonstration I could actually do because it showed kind of the way it's, it's variably affecting the needle. The first time I put the little needle close to it, it gave a really big deflection. And then the second time I brought it in, it still gave a deflection, but a little bit less. And that's my experience with it. Uh, sometimes it gives a huge, relatively massive deflection. Other times a little, a little bit of deflection, but always some kind of deflection. And this means Silver have really dropped the ball on this because this little screwdriver has got two jobs one to turn that screw number two not to be magnetic and it can't do job number one if it doesn't do job number two really really surprised that this is happening i wonder if silver have got this experience before i can't actually remember where i bought this compass hopefully i bought it online and then i'll be able to find uh, an email about it and then i'll be able to take it back to the store but i will also be getting in contact with silver and uh, showing this video to them basically so I'm sure they'll be interested to know that their, their um, little non-magnetic screwdriver has actually become magnetic over time when I first got it it worked perfectly no complaints whatsoever and you can see that in uh, my original declination video about it how it works but since then it's become magnetic and I've had some contact with Silver in the past with their customer service and they've always been a great company to deal with and I'm sure they'll have no problem fixing this for me if the store doesn't fix it for me if I can't, or if I can't get in contact with the store where I bought it from and they'll put it straight but I bet they're interested to know as a respectful very respected good company that they are decades of uh, history behind them probably the, well, they're my favourite campus company that they'll be really interested to know how their little screwdriver which shouldn't be magnetic is getting magnetic and affecting the needle on their campus I'd rather actually take it to Silver and take it back to the store because when you take it back to the store, you've got to explain to the, the guy or the girl working behind the counter what's going wrong. And if they don't, you know, trying to explain this kind of geekiness to somebody who probably hasn't got a really big interest in campus is just a thankless task. Uh, so hopefully I'll get in, get in contact with Silver and they'll, they'll sort it out. And maybe they've also got a, an explanation 
a reason why this has become like it has and uh, if they do I'll get back in touch I'll let you know with a part two of this video what happens after I've spoken to Silver. thanks for watching this video if you're a subscriber thanks for being a subscriber if you've enjoyed this video and you're not a subscriber please hit that subscribe button because I come out with regular videos just like this don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and I'll see you all next time take it easy